Hi guys, today we want to take a look on the effect of government intervention within the market. Government intervention is through governmental restrictions on prices that are charged within the market. It is when the government is unwilling to let markets adjust to market clearing price and it does so by distorting the market equilibrium. So the government intervenes through setting maximum prices or through setting minimum prices, which are also known as price flows. A price ceiling is a maximum price that is set below the market equilibrium price. This is the maximum price that can be charged upon a product and it is illegal to charge a price above that which have been stipulated by the government. So the diagrammatic exposition of a price ceiling looks like this. We have a normal demand curve. We have the normal demand curve, which is downward sloping. We also have a normal supply curve, which is upward sloping. The supply and the demand gives us an equilibrium price and an equilibrium quantity. These are also known as market forces. So through government intervention, it can set a price ceiling, which is a maximum price at PC. An effective price ceiling is set below the equilibrium price. So by setting a maximum price below the equilibrium price, we are saying that it is Ill illegal to charge a price above that which have been set by the government and it is only legal to charge a price below that which have been stipulated by the government. However, because the good have become so cheaper, the demand for that good will increase. And with regard to the firms producing that product, because the good have become very cheap, some firms will exit the market and quantity supply will be low. So at the end of the day, there is excess demand. Demand outweighs the level of supply. Okay, so there are also effects with regard to setting a maximum price. A price ceiling is practiced in an attempt to help consumers. This is for the reason that the price has become very cheap. So it reduces the cost of living, okay? So with regard to that, there is high levels of demand and there is low levels of supply, which leads to a deficit persisting in the market. Also an effective price ceiling will cause the market to experience a problem of shortage. Like we have said that there is too much demand and there is less supply. When there is extreme shortage in the market, the government begins to ration distribution as to restrict demand for consumers. However, consumers won't be able to utilize as much goods as they can. We also have a price flow. A price flow is also known as a minimum price. So an effective minimum price is set above the equilibrium price. This is the minimum price that can be charged upon a good or a service. An example of a price flow are minimum wages. The diagrammatic exposition of a price flow looks like this. We have a normal demand curve and a normal supply curve. We have 
equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. An effective price flow is set above the market clearing price. The good has become so expensive, therefore demand will decrease. However, supply will increase because in the eyes of the firms, they can now profit from it. So a price flow is also effects. A price flow set above the market clearing price will cause a surplus. At higher market price, producers increase their supply. In contrast, consumers' demand for the product will decrease and this generates a surplus. When the price flow is continued for a long time, supply surplus is generated in a huge amount. Therefore, the firm will keep inventories. So this is with regard to the government intervention within the market itself. You can subscribe for exam revisions, exam packs, assignment assistance, full classes on our website, which is given on the first page. I hope you enjoyed this class. Thank you.